So Apple's worldwide developer conference for 2024 is due to start on June 10th in uh, California. And Apple is supposed to be rumored to be telling us what it's going to do with AI, artificial intelligence. Specifically, LLM type stuff, large language model, generative AI. Um, Apple seems to have been playing a major case of catch up with uh, OpenAI, Microsoft, Google, all of the above. It really seems for some reason to have been caught flat footed with the AI stuff. I'm not sure what's going on there. Now, Apple just announced that they had stopped developing their Apple Car project, which I guess had been going on for quite a few years. And I believe they'd, oh, they've spent $10 billion on research, is what I read somewhere, to do that amount of time and effort to finally realize that uh, electric cars are not a high-margin business, which is usually what Apple uh, deals in. I mean, does anybody think that, uh, you know, an 8-gig RAM upgrade really costs, you know, $300 or whatever it is on the, the MacBooks? Apple likes to make money, which is fine, you know, but they like to make money. Electric cars are not a huge moneymaker. I'm surprised and kind of shocked it took them that long to figure that out. Anywho, we're talking about AI in general. Now, oddly enough, Apple has had the uh, neural processing in their chipsets for quite some time. With computer chips and, you know, smartphones and tablets are computers too. With computer chips, the CPU is a central processor unit, which we would, what we would think of as the traditional microprocessor that runs a computer. GPUs are uh, graphics processor units, which do, which are very good at parallel processing, which is apparently very helpful for large language models. So if you have a large language model that you run locally, which I do on on some of my computers, um, the ones that have a decent video card can accelerate the large language models quite noticeably. So the neural processing unit, or NPU, is something that is very much more specific to artificial intelligence systems. And that's something we're going to see in the next few years as uh, Intel and Microsoft are going to be working on specifications for the next generation of computers that feature AI as part of their makeup. In other words, the ability to run AI processes at the hardware level on the computer rather than send stuff to the cloud. Uh, I forget what the name of the the spec is, but there is a new spec coming out where that's going to be your, your regular computer is going to have to have, or supposedly, going to have to have a minimum amount of NPU processing power available to it so they can actually accelerate AI-related stuff. So, as I said, Apple has had this, the neural processing unit, NPUs, for quite some time in their phones and um, their other products. Now, currently, they do use some of that for things like powering Face ID, supposedly allowing Siri to understand voice commands better and for some photo processing and then also some acceleration of third-party apps so but they haven't really dealt with it using it directly as what it you know could be intended for like an actual ai accelerator apple was supposedly working on a replacement or an or a major upgrade to Siri using AI, and they've been, I guess, working on that for a while. We now hear that they're also in talks with Google to use, possibly use their Gemini product, I guess, as an addition to Siri or as a replacement for. It's really unclear. There's a lot of conflicting reports going on. But I'm just kind of astonished that Apple seems to have not jumped on this a little earlier. Um, It's hard with Apple because they're typically a very secretive company. They'll come up with something all of a sudden and everybody was like, whoa, where did that come from? I don't think that's the case with AI. I think they're really struggling, it seems like. I mean, they've supposedly been working on it internally for a while, an Apple GPT-type product. 
they don't seem to be doing as well with it, I guess, as they thought they would. So now they appear to be looking outwards at Google, which doesn't really do processing. Well, I mean, I guess Gemini could do processing on the device. My, my thinking is Apple would want to do processing on the device because that's more, a more private way to do it than sending it to the cloud, which is what most of the other ones do. Apple's Siri was introduced back in, I think it was 2012, I want to say, either 2012 or 2014, and it was, Siri was actually acquired, was originally um, a project of, out of Stanford. It was acquired by Apple and integrated into the iPhone 4S, I believe, was the first phone that had it. And it was pretty remarkable at the time, a voice-activated assistant. Um, but that was then, and this is now, and it's definitely fallen behind. So they really need to kind of get their stuff together. Hopefully, we'll find out something at the uh, developers' conference coming up here. But I'm just, as I said, I'm still slightly aghast that Apple would sort of let this pass by as they seem to have done and we'll see if they catch up. I'm not a huge Apple fanboy or anything. I mean, I have Apple Apple stuff. I have a, an iPhone and a uh, a tablet, but I'm not, you know, married to Apple technology, but it just seems a shame that they would sort of squander this opportunity to give us more choice, you know. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Hey, thanks for wasting time with me again, and uh, I've got some links below, so take a look at those, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.